Now we just got done uh, finishing up chapter two here and we created a couple of pages and at this point if I go to my file folder where my work is stored you're going to see that I have those two files inside my unit two folder and I'm actually going to go up one level and, and look at my entire folder structure here and basically the focus here is to look at how we are going to FTP. I went ahead and I launched my FileZilla program and I'm going to connect to Kronos. I'm going to type in my host name, which is kronos.gtc.edu. I'm going to type in my username. Mine's very clever, by the way. And typed in my password. And I'm just going to press Enter. And it should establish a connection with the server. Now keep in mind that whenever you put stuff on Kronos, if you want it to be visible on the web, it must go into the public HTML folder. It's the only way to see it in the browser. So I navigated myself into that folder, and then notice that here in the root, I can start putting in my work. Now there's a good chance that now that you guys are starting out, you probably don't have any other web classes that you're working on. So you could probably just throw all your stuff in the root here and it would probably be fine. But I think that you should probably be a little bit preemptive and start thinking about the future because if you're in the program, you're going to have many classes and a lot of them are going to generate web content on the server. So what I would recommend that you do is that inside that folder, which is the public HTML folder, I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose create directory. And I'm going to create a folder for web one. That's what I'm going to call it. Uh, now you guys only have to take one web course. The SharePoint people have to take two and some of them are listening to this video. So there is a web one and a web two. Um, or you can call it, you know, uh, whatever the class is called, web programming one. But be consistent with your naming once again. Notice I'm not using any spaces for the folder name and I'm choosing to use all lowercase. That's my preference. All right, so then I'm just going to go ahead and click OK here, and now all my Web 1 work is going to go into that folder. On the left-hand side, I'm going to go ahead and locate the location where my work is, and I know it's in my Google Drive. For you, it might be somewhere else. There's Web Programming 1, and there's Spring 2017. On the right side, I'm going to navigate into my Web 1 folder, and now my intent here is that everything on the left is going to end up on the right. So I'm just going to take all my work and I'm just going to drag and drop it over. And now I have on the server, in the public HTML folder, in the Web 1 folder, I have my Unit 2 folder, which has my two files. And if I go back up, and you can go back up, folks, by double-clicking the dot, dot. That's what that means. It goes up a level. Or you can come up here and you can navigate through stuff, too. This structure is identical to the structure I have here. And this is the little junky index HTML that we created last time. Eh, whatever, it's there. All right. Now if I want to go take a look at this in my browser that it's uploaded, I'm going to go to the browser wherever that happens to be. All right, there it is. And let's go full screen on it. And the URL I will type is going to be chronos.gtc.edu, a forward slash, and then followed by a tilde, the sideways squiggle, the shift of the reverse apostrophe key right above the tab key, and then your username, a forward slash, and then what folder did I put it in? Web 1. I do not need to type public HTML here. That's assumed. All right? It goes right to that folder anyhow. So I'm going to type Web 1, all lowercase, and then Unit 2, all lowercase. And some of you that have done this before are probably like, well, then you type index.html. But guess what? I don't have to type that because that's the default. So if I just press Enter here, it will bring up index.html. And then if it worked fine on my machine and I kept the same folder structure and put it on the server, when I click about, it should bring up 
my About page, and when I click Home, it should take me back to Home. So that's a real quick, simple little example of taking the stuff on your local machine and getting it up to the server. But it also points out, I think, a very important concept, and that is whatever you're doing on your home machine, your local machine, replicate that folder structure on the server. So if I'm working on a project and it has a complex series of folders, all the associations and linking between files will work just fine as long as everything sits in the same spot relative to each other. All right, so that was a very simple little example. Uh, and the reason I bring that up is in uh, Unit 2, wherever that happens to be, oh, let me just bring up uh, the course shell here. In the Unit 2 folder, uh, one of the assignments that you're going to have, well, it's also in Unit 1. That's a simple FTP upload assignment. But um, notice that a lot of the, the stuff here will not ask you to upload anything because it just asks you to zip stuff for right now. If you want to take the extra step and upload it just to try it, go for it and then send me the link and I'll tell you if it worked or not. You're not being graded on it at this point. But there will be subsequent uh, weeks where you will be uploading it to the server. So that for week two, for unit two, I'm not making that a requirement for your assignment. I want to see that you can code it, right? The following week, though, you will be required, and from there on in, everything has to end up on the server. Otherwise, you won't get a grade. But for this unit, it's okay to zip it. In fact, you're, gonna, you're going to zip it. Um, so whatever, whenever you finish your work, and what I mean by that, and let me show you, is we did all our work in the Unit 2 folder. So what I want you to do when you submit your work is just right-click the Unit 2 folder, Send to, Compress Zipped Folder. It'll create the file name automatically, and you submit this to me inside of Blackboard. Now, giving you guys the benefit of the doubt, because I know that we do get people that are brand new to Gateway and the program and never used Blackboard before, to submit any assignment, you just simply click on the link title of the assignment. That's why I make them blue, so you know it's linkable. And then you will very simply attach that zip file right here. So I would find my Web 1, Spring, Unit 2, whoops, Unit 2 zip, going a little too fast there, but I got my zip. If you want to throw me some comments, you can type them here or here. That's fine. Either one works. So you can hit write submission or comments. Either one is fine. When you get to the point where you're going to start adding links, I prefer that you use write submission, and I'll show you how to do that when we get there. If you did get it to work in your browser, like I did, right? You can click on the address, copy it, and you can come in here to the submission area, and you can either paste it in down here or up here. If you really want to make it actually a link, you have to put it up here. You have to highlight this, and then you click this little chain link icon. And then paste your link right here, switch this to new window, and hit insert, and that will turn into a link. So when it comes up for me in Blackboard, I'll be able to click and go to the web page. Remember, for Unit 2, it doesn't matter if it works or not. But in subsequent weeks, if that link doesn't work, you don't get your points no matter how perfect your pages are. Right? So it's a good time to practice it without any pressure. And we will cover this many times over and over again. So if you get stuck, don't freak out. I will be there to help you. Okay? So this is just a quick little video on how to do that. You can rewind and play it over again. And I think I already have one that's recorded like this, but no harm done to have too much, right? All right. Well, good luck on uh, uploading and have fun with it.